been smashed. But judging from the cut open chest, the dead is a girl. There's no means for me to identify the dead since her remains are a mess. Nanami must be scared by the remains. It's too much for a girl. So the scream makes sense. But even with the truth revealed, we are still strongly overwhelmed by uneasiness and horror. Why? Why is this happening? Uh, I feel sick at my stomach, again after seeing the horrible scene and smelling the blood. I prevent myself from vomiting and turn my gaze at Nanami. She walks a few steps away from me without me noticing and stares at me in fear. Is she scared of me? Nanami, let's leave, okay? Uh, no. The fuck is she doing? This time, I don't give her the chance to refuse me. I immediately grab her hand and see blood is all over her hands. The blood on her soft hands is still warm and wet. The fuck was she playing with the body parts? Whose blood is this? No, don't. She finally starts talking when I'm lost in thought, but what she says really surprises me. Is she not willing to leave here? Or does she hate me for being around? Be good, it's very dangerous here. I'm taking you out of here right now. Although I have no idea where the exit is, I at least need to take her away from this disgusting and horrible room. No! I won't go! Please! Please! Nanami once again sheds tears. I'm confused and don't know what to do. Sorry, I don't understand. This is such a dangerous place. Kakashi... Please. Nanami, tell me what's wrong. I will help you. Kakashi, please kill me. What? Kakashi, kill me, please. I am trapped in here. Nanami, I promise I'll get you out of here. Trust me. No, I am trapped in here. So please kill me. Nanami! Uh. Nanami, what the hell is she talking about? When asked more questions, she keeps repeating those words. It appears that I have to decide what to do on my own. Alright, so I can take her away forcibly, or I can leave a bitch. Here, why don't, why don't you guys decide? I'm going to go with the first answer that whoever in the room says. I'll either take her away forcibly, or leave her here. So you guys, you guys watching, get to choose what I do. So the first one to give me an answer gets to see what happens. Alright, leave her. Leave her there. Nanami, you really don't want to leave here with me. No, I don't want to leave. Because it's too late. If you don't want to go with me, I have to leave you here alone. I... Do you want to go with me? No. Okay, then bye-bye. I regret my decision the moment I exit the room. Nanami grew up with me. I can't believe I walked away on her. Although she didn't want to leave, if I insisted on taking her with me, she may have come along. Regretting my choice, I walk ahead for a really long period of time and finally make it to the end of the corridor.
Fuck that, we left a bitch. <laughs> Outside the building is a sparse forest. The rain is pouring, and a few withered trees around the building reek with an atmosphere of gloom. I suddenly want to see what the building looks like, so I turn around and look back at it. But I only see gloomy darkness and can't even see its outline clearly. The only thing I know for sure is the building is very grand. After all, I've walked forever in it. How did I come here? Who brought me here? I need to go figure these out, but time is ticking away. I need to find a place to spend the night, and that creepy room isn't an option. It's better to walk ahead. I feel a little lonely. I should have taken her with me, but now it's too late. I continue walking. Nanami, sorry. You'll be fine. Please forgive me for leaving you alone in that creepy room. I'm still praying for Nanami and hope she's okay in that building. After a few steps, I realize I'm walking on something soft and sticky. I suddenly have a bad feeling. I bend down immediately to check it. Uh... Na Nanami? I see her blood-stained clothes and some cut-up organs in a pile. It reminds me of the remains in that room. Nanami, did she come to a bad end just like this? Who the hell did this? Monster, what a monster! I recall every moment I was with Nanami in that room. She was helpless and crying. Clearly she asked for my help back then. But I abandoned her there in the end. I'm such a fool, a monster. Nanami! I could have saved her. My indifference killed her. Sorry, Nanami. I am sorry. Standing in the rain, I feel deep regret. I burst into tears. When I wake up, I'm wet with cold sweat. It was a dream! Opening my eyes, I see neither the, the gloom and winding room nor the sparse forest under the rain. I'm so relieved to find myself in my familiar bedroom. I sit on my bed and collect my thoughts. All the terrible experiences flash in my head. Clear scenes emerge in my head. I keep sweating on the thought of the horror and the blood. It's okay. It was just a nightmare. Now everything is over. I keep comforting myself. <laughs> he comforts himself over and over. <laughs> Pulling open the curtains, I see tranquil and beautiful scenery, which really comforts me. With the sunlight shining in my room, my head gradually wakes up from the nightmare, and all the terrible scenes fade away. Oh, luckily, it was just a dream. It's such a relief. The dream was indeed a terrible experience. I look up to see the clock. It's six o'clock sharp. So early? I didn't sleep well due to the nightmare. Since I already got up, I don't want to go back to sleep. Today is the first day of the vacation. I have plans with Nanami. She will come see me at seven. <laughs> Welcome back. Wait, Nanami? N Nanami? She was a heroine in my nightmare. I'd rather call her a heroine than a close friend or childhood sweetheart. Besides, her strange character and her way of talking in my dream, she was so adorable, as always. But it was just a dream rather than reality. It'd be awful if my nightmare became real. Ah, still a little sleepy. If I lie back in bed after talking to myself, there's one hour to go. What should I do now? Should I go to her house or wait for her lying in bed? Alright, you guys get to choose. Should I wait for Anonymy or should I go to Anonymy's house? First answer I see is the one I'm going to go with.
No, no, the main character's a dude. Okay, go to Nanami's home. That's what it says. I saw pandas first. That is a very cliche Japanese fucking picture right there. After deciding to go to Nanami's house, I'm quickly on my way. I, after all, had a strange dream about her, and I'm still haunted by the scenes in my dream. Even though it's not real, I still feel great pain of when I couldn't save her in my dream. A very pedophilic dude. <laughs> How is a pedo? He's, they're in the same grade. I'm really concerned about her. I'd better see her soon. After I see her smiling face and make sure she's okay, the fear from my nightmare will be gone. I see her coming out from her home. She must have come looking for me. Hey, Nanami! Hey, Kakashi! Morning! It's rare to see Kakashi coming so early. <laughs> Don't worry, Kakashi comes early every time Nanami's around. <laughs> Yeah, I feel the same. <laughs> you strike me as a lazy bones. You never get up early. You are mean. I came here for you. Can't you say something nice? He <laughs> kidding. I actually wanted to ask you why you got up so early today. Uh, I probably haven't gotten used to the summer vacation. I'd better not talk about the nightmare with her right now. I'll find a good time to tell her later. Is that so? Weird. Yeah, tell me about it. The forest around the town is a good place to go with a light mood. It's wonderful lying on the slope and enjoying the fresh air. Nanami must be looking at some odd flowers and plants. She has a thing for various plants since childhood. Nanami Shio, who grew up with me, always asked me to come to the forest when we were little. At first she was afraid of going to the forest alone. Besides, she had a few friends in childhood, and I was sort of close. We hang out a lot, so the intimacy between us grows naturally. We just keep each other company most of the time, and I recalled after I went out with her a few times, I felt bored and reluctant to go. But I became accustomed to it later and had fun. We've grown up now and take, t take to spending time like this. When we go out, I always explore the for forest with her. There's no sign of fierce animals in the forest, so it's pretty safe here. I sometimes lie on the grass, enjoy the sun, the coziness, and leave her studying the flowers and the plants, while I take a moment to smoke some of the grass. Ah, so tired. I'm going to take a rest here. I've got the munchies. When I'm absorbed and looking at the sky, I hear Nanami's voice and turn around, finding her lying down beside me. Oh, look how cute! Did you find something new? No, I'm so familiar with all the plants here. Yeah, she must be quite familiar, even with rare plants after all these years of hanging out here. I'm not surprised. It's been a while since I found some new plants. Yeah, even so, you're still obsessed. Right, I'm used to it. Don't repeat what I've said. Hee 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 hee. You are really into those plants and flowers and can't get enough of them. She has a unique way of studying flowers and plants. She studies them by cutting them, drying them, smoking them, and enjoying the smell. She just quietly looks at her favorite flowers and sometimes gently touches them. Why don't you pick them? I ask many times, but she refuses to do so. She's too kind-hearted to hurt them. Yeah, you know me. I give in to you.